Welcome to Buy Time. I'm Jacob DeGate. It's my pleasure to introduce Anna Nanny, who is the uh, Vice Chancellor for Enrollment and Student Development at Fletcher. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's always a good time. All right. I, I know that you have a, a few events that are upcoming at, at Fletcher. Can you start off talking about, uh, I think, on Veterans Day, you'll have a one? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. So tomorrow at 11 a.m. at our Shriver campus, we're going to have our Veterans Day ceremony. It's always a really good time. Um, we have a speaker coming out. Um, Aronda Smith is going to be out there speaking to the group. We have a few special touches that are always fun for the veterans to be able to, you know, acknowledge their service and but also be reverent for the event and I believe there's going to be food afterwards for those folks who want to stay around so I want to say weather pending it's going to be outside if, if it's a pretty day I heard some talk down the hall there might be a little bad weather so, so we'll move it inside okay and that's tomorrow that's Thursday that's Thursday oh. at, at 11 a.m. Okay, good deal. And then uh, I believe I see that you also have an upcoming golf tournament. Can you yes, tell us about that? Absolutely. So this coming Monday, November 13th at Ellendale Country Club, we're going to have our golf tournament. It's the Swings for Scholarships. It's always been really great. This is our second year doing the event. We typically see a lot of success and scholarship. It, it basically raises money for scholarships. And our students, and this isn't unique just to Fletcher. There are so many students in need of extra dollars to help with with tuition, with fees, with living expenses while they're in school. And so that's what this particular event is set aside to sponsor is student scholarships. Okay. And that's this upcoming Monday, you said? Upcoming Monday, November 13th. I want to say, and I, I see that it, the graphic is up there. It's at 11 a.m. is when check-in begins. And last year it was a really fun day. It, you know, we all ended up staying out there for a good long time. There's something fun at all the different holes and there's food and, and really great networking opportunities. So we really encourage folks to come out. If they haven't already set up a team on our website, you can still do that. Okay. So so it's still available to, to sign up uh, for a four-person team or something? Yes, you should be able to still sign up on the website. If not, you can give us a call, 985-448-7900, and we'll get you in touch with Miss Monique Crochet to get you set up. Sounds wonderful. Okay, uh, another event uh, I see that y'all having, y'all having a resource fair. Can you tell yes. us a little bit about that? Absolutely. It's our Veterans Resource Fair. And so we see for our veteran students, there are so many available resources from the, the VA funding to, you know, just specialty programs available specifically for veterans or dependents of the veteran spouses and dependents. And so creating an environment, a fair, so to speak, right, <laughs> where every, every resource can come together. It's all in one spot. It can become a bit of a one-stop shop for our veteran students. We have a really thriving veteran organization. We have a Veterans Resource Center on campus where we have um, a Levette Corps navigator, I think it is the title, and that person is there to help veteran students and their dependents. Uh, navigate funding, navigate additional educational resources, navigate housing resources, food resources. And so this is an opportunity for all of those resources to come together and to hand out information and provide um, information to our veteran population. Okay. And when will that take place? That's November 17th. It's actually at the Raceland VFW. So I would say check out our website for more mm -hmm. specifics, the time um, and address to the location, which is Fletcher.edu. That should all be available there as well as information about the veterans resources. Okay. And it's for, for anybody in this area that, that wants to go yes. for that are veterans or dependents yes. of veterans. Absolutely. Absolutely. Sounds wonderful. Okay. And I see a Last event that I see that y'all have up, you also have a, a cha chancellor's breakfast. Can you tell us what, what that is? Sure. About? So Dr. Christine Strickland, our chancellor, puts on an annual chancellor's breakfast where she comes up with a theme every year. It's always something really, um, you know, one year it was about being thankful or spotlighting our students and there are um, our sponsorships available. We always have a really great turnout. Mm -hmm. It's on our campus, which is the Shriver, the main campus in Shriver. And um it's December 7th. It's it's typically first thing in the morning. I want to say the start time is right around 8 a.m. And we have this really lovely breakfast and we hear from students and Dr. Strickland addresses the group and there are sponsorships available. That information is online as well for business and industry folks who may want to participate. Um, it is always re it. How do I want to put that? It's always um, such a 
such a delightful time, right? We're, we're celebrating the holidays. We're celebrating student success, community success. And so it's just an opportunity to come out. Again, great networking opportunity to see folks, to learn about our students, to learn about what we're doing for the community. Sounds wonderful. And that, that's something that you've been doing for many years? Or? We have. I'm trying to think of when it, it began. I want to say it was a pre-COVID initiative. <laughs> and of course, we had to put it on pause for a couple years. And the year after was was great being able to bring everybody back in a room together. It's typically in December, like the first, second week in December mm-hmm. every year. And um, like I said, it has been historically located on our campus, our Shriver main campus. Okay. And do they have more information about that on your website as well? Absolutely. So, Fletcher.edu, we have scrolling banners that go right across the, you know, the main mm-hmm. screen, and all of these events are going to be listed there. Um, and it's clickable, you know, if you want more information about how to purchase tickets or, you know, dates, reminders, things of that nature, all of this information should be up okay. there. And that'll include information, of course, if you want to sign up for the golf tournament, you can do it there yes. as well. Yes, and, that and would be there the, as well information about the resource fair, veterans resource fair as well. Yes. And so in, and we actually have a really th- thorough um, veteran webpage. And so for, for students who are looking for more information about veterans or veterans resources in general, I would highly recommend going review that page. It shows all, not only the resources, but how to enroll, get that process started. All righty. Well, we do need to take a quick break, but when we come back, we'll talk about some more uh, programs that are that are taking place at Fletcher. Thanks. Absolutely. Stay tuned for more right here on HTV. Today's social media segment is brought to you by Parabon General Health Systems modern technology, and timeless caring. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Buick, the craft of modern luxury. St. Martin and Bork, know your rights. South Louisiana Bank, it's better when we bank together. Waits and Downer, attorneys at law. Terrebonne Ford, built Ford Tough. Alford and Associates for all of your insurance needs. CIS, Cardiovascular Institute of the South, the highest quality cardiovascular care available. Barca Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality. Welcome back to Bayou Time. I'm Jacob DeGate, and we're here with uh, Anna Nene, Anna Nene, I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> who is the Vice Chancellor for Enrollment and Student Development at Ellie Fletcher. Uh, let's see, I know you have a, you'll have very uh, broad range of programs out there, different uh, curriculum for, for students enrolling. Uh, one is a, a medical assistant program that I see that uh, a lot of people might not know about, but uh, I know that's something that you wanted to get the info- word out on. Yes, absolutely. So our nursing and allied health division has really done a good job of researching our area and seeing what needs exist within that particular industry, right? What are, what are hospitals, clinics, what do these groups need and working to provide resources for education for our community members. And very recently, uh, we had our Dean of Nursing and Allied Health implement a program for medical assistant. She offered it down in Chauvin. We had online course options and then the labs were um, at at a gym, I believe. She was able to reserve a space there so that those students were not having to travel to our main campus. And it was a really successful program. Those students learned a lot about the basics of working in the medical field, blood pressure, um, phlebotomy, things of that nature. And because it was such a successful program and we saw the value in bringing that education opportunity down to, you know, further south, she wanted to provide the same opportunity down 
in Lafourche Parish. And so we are doing another medical assistant program down in that area. And information is online. Of course, it, uh, the class begins, I believe it's February 5th. And students, there are, there are some funding options available. I know oftentimes students struggle because they think, well, I can't afford college. Mm -hmm. And there are a lot of funding streams out there, um, specific to this one, but also students are eligible for grants or loans or just different scholarships. And so we're excited about this class. We're excited about what it means to be able to go further down uh, in, in Lafouche and to be able to target folks down there to prevent them. Because think, I mean, to have to come to our Shriver campus can take sure. an hour for some folks. And that's a lot, not only a lot of your time, but tr transportation needs, gas costs. And so being able to bring that program a little bit further down, I'm really excited to see the impact it can make. Yeah, and I believe y'all are looking to target, for, you know, residents all the way to Grand Isle, uh, mm -hmm. Golden Meadow, Galliano, Cutoff, and La Rose as well. Absolutely. You know, service all of that area. Um, and again, y'all have... Uh, it's so online classes and in person? Is yes. that how it works? Yes. So we offer the the class portion online, the you know, the studying, the PowerPoints, the videos to to show different techniques, but then the labs are in person, the actual practicing on pa on you know, patients or getting to um, experience that hands on sure. is done in person. Yeah, that's the, the important work in the hands exactly. on, <laughs> you know, you get to, to try out all the theories in, in person. Uh, but again, you don't have to travel all the way that, you know, that two hours from Grand Isle or, or so, and you have a, a lab right there closer, that'll certainly yes. help out. Yes. And there are jobs, there's a need to fill jobs in this particular field. And so we know in our research that students will not only, not only are we bringing this education to them, but they will be able to find high wage, high demand jobs in this particular field. Sure. And uh, let's see, uh, another new program I believe you'll have coming uh, th this spring is the Instrumentation Technology Program. Yes. Can you, uh, tell uh, people about where they can find information about that. Sure. So it, all of our program information is available on our website, which again is Fletcher.edu. We have a tab designated specifically for all of our programs. It's very user friendly. This program, I know, has been in the works for a very long time. There's a need for uh, folks who have the ability to understand the electrical and instrumentation aspect of working in a plant, working offshore, working in, in several business and industry mm -hmm. sectors. And so this program is going to really accommodate that again at their was a need. We we typically, before we develop any program, do a lot of market research. We reach out to business and industry and we say, what are you needing? And then we respond, right? That's the mission of a community college. And so for students interested in this particular program, all the information is online under uh, programs. It can show you the length of time for the program, the classes you're taking. You know, typically we're about half the cost of a four-year institution. Okay. You can find tuition and fee information on the website as well. Um, the spring semester begins, I want to say, January 17th. So I would encourage anybody interested to go ahead and apply and get everything squared away before the Christmas break, right? Before sure. that holiday break begins, which is, I think, mid to late December. Let's get everything secured. If you need assistance with the enrollment process, I know the uh, information does say to contact Ms. Josie Clark. She's, she's definitely a, a key contact person. But any of our enrollment specialists should be able to help with the application, with completion of the FAFSA, and getting enrolled in the classes okay wonderful and i see uh, another uh you have an open enrollment year round for a uh, sign language program yes. can you tell us about that of uh, course so asl is is considered to be one of our what we refer to as non-credit right it's a, a quick training and the the class i believe does have some online and some in-person work and it's it's as you mentioned, it's somewhat open enrollment in that it doesn't have an official start date and end date. Students are able to enroll year round. Um, uh, the cost is escaping me, but that would be available on the website. Miss Tina Tomplay is a great resource for that. Her email address is Tina Tomplay at Fletcher.edu, and she can help not only with the enrollment, but if there are any funding options as well, she should be able to provide that. That's wonderful. So that's an opportunity to, to learn a different language yeah. that, you know, you all often don't think about, uh, but it is something that uh, can come very in handy in certain jobs. Yes, and, and we offer several non-credit programs, so I would encourage anyone who's interested in something quick, retraining, to check out our website for sure. 
All righty. Well, thank you very much for, for coming on, and, and thank you all uh, for putting on a good school over there at Fletcher. Thank you for having me. Stay tuned for more right here on HTV.